SportsIllustrated.com out here, Camelback Ranch, with Mr. Eric Karos at the formerly known as Fantasy Baseball Camp, now Adult Baseball Camp. First of all, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us. Hi, everything's gone great. Uh, had a good few days out of here right now. Uh, a lot of guys uh, slowing down a little as we move through the week. Uh, you know, the brain says one thing, the body says another, but having a great time so far. Seems like you're having a great time just yelling at your guys, just having a good time, just giving them the business. Well, no, it's, it's, uh, it's motivation is what sure, it is. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's part of the whole experience down here is, uh, you know, for the coaches to get involved. And, uh, you know, I, I like to give uh, our, our team an experience of, of what things may have been like years and years ago. I, I don't know that uh, you get away with this stuff now. But uh, it's fun. They enjoy it. And, uh, like I said, it gives me a chance to uh, let off a little steam. Now, I wanted to switch gears a little bit and talk about the Los Angeles Dodgers mm -hmm. in 2020. A lot of Dodger fans, especially like on Twitter, a lot of complaining about not signing the big guys, no big trade. Should Dodger fans be worried or should they shut up? Well, I, you know, look, as a fan, you're always going to want to see a, a big move or see, a, you know, some new exciting player added to your ball club. But the reality is, uh, you know, Andrew Friedman, uh, Dave Roberts, uh, the, the leadership, the management have done really an unparalleled job uh, with this organization, uh, you know, the last few years. And, uh, you know, the, the thing about it is they are an excellent ball club. And Andrew has not been afraid to make moves during the All-Star break. Uh, the off-season the, the off season is still not over yet. Uh, but look, if they don't make any more moves, uh, they're still the team to beat in the National League West. And you know, I'd argue they're the team to beat in the National League. Now that brings me to my last question. Predictions for the 2020 season, not only with the Dodgers, but just for the season as a, as a whole. Well, look, uh, there are going to be a lot of competitive ball clubs. Atlanta, I think, is going to be better. You know, the Twins getting Donaldson, that's going to make an impact. Uh, you know, the Yankees with, with the Garrett Cole signing. Uh, you know, it's real hard to say that just because you win the offseason means you're going to win the regular season and, and you know it usually doesn't happen uh, but it looks like there's a lot of opportunity for a number of different ball clubs which for me as a baseball fan makes it real exciting it's not just one or two teams uh, you could make a case for probably eight or nine teams to win the world series awesome stuff ek really appreciate the time go have fun with your team thanks